the distance between the parallel lines 3x plus 4y plus 5 equals to 0 and 3x plus 4y plus 6 equals to 0 is options are 11 by 5, 5 by 11, 11 by 3 and 1 by 5. If you, you know, revise the concepts that we have covered in the video of coordinate geometry, you would know that if there are two parallel lines, let's say AX, uh, AX plus BY, AX plus BY plus C1 equals to 0 and AX plus BY plus C2 equals to 0. Or maybe you can say AX plus BY plus C equals to 0 and AX plus BY plus D equals to 0. See, the only difference between two parallel lines would be the constant there, right? The constant value, right? The coefficients of x and y would be same, or at least the ratio will be same, if not the coefficients. So in this case, the distance between those parallel lines, right? Distance between the parallel lines. How do we measure this? It can be taken as modulus of c2 minus c1 divided by root over a squared plus b squared. Now that's what you have to do here, right? So this is like ax plus by plus c1 and same ax plus by plus c2. Simplify. So we can say the required answer distance here will be equal to mod of c2 minus c1. See whether you take c2 minus c1 or c1 minus c2 makes no difference, right? Because anyway, it is modulus, right? We have to take the positive value there. So 6 minus c1 is how much? 5 divided by uh, divided by root over a squared plus b squared. What is a? 3, right? The coefficient of x is 3. What is b? 4. The coefficient of y is 4. So 3 squared plus 4 squared. So this will give you 1 divided by root 25. Under root 25 is 5. So 1 by 5 units, right? So 0 0.2 units, we can say 1 by 5. Option 4 is the correct answer. But before we close this question, there's one important point that I would like, like to mention. Sometimes the equation of two parallel lines may be given like this. Let's say the first equation is 3x plus 4y plus 5 equals to 0. And the second equation is like 9x plus 12y plus 18 equals to 0. Can you tell me what is going to be the distance between these two parallel lines? How do we do this? See, by definition, what are parallel lines? Parallel. How do we know that two lines are parallel? If a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2. What are a1, a2, b1, b2? The coefficients of x and y in the two lines. So here if you see a1 is 3, a2 is 9, b1 is 4, b2 is 12. So 3 by 9 is equal to 4 by 12. Yes or no? 3 by 9 is 1 by 3, 4 by 12 is also 1 by 3. So we can say uh, this like 1 by 3, hence the two lines are parallel. Getting it? Since the ratio of the coefficients of x and the coefficients of y is equal, the two lines are parallel. In this case, how do you measure the distance? See, the two lines are parallel. But to find out the distance, the two lines have to be brought to this format. ax plus by plus c1 equals to 0 and ax plus by plus c2 equals to 0. So what we'll do here is either multiply equation 1 with 3 or multiply equation 2 with uh, multiply equation 2 with 1 by 3. Basically divide equation 2 by 3. So when you divide equation 2 by 3, what happens? This becomes 3x, this becomes 4y and 18 when you divide by 3, we give you 6. So now both of them are in the required format. 3x plus 4y plus 5 and 3x plus 4y plus 6. So now that the two lines are with same coefficients of x and y, you can apply the same formula. C2 minus C1 divided by root over a squared plus b squared, which will give you 1 by 5 units is the answer there. Find the equation of the straight line passing through the point 2 comma 2 and having intercepts whose sum is 9. See, if you have watched the videos of, you know, the coordinate geometry, you would know that, or for that matter, uh, yeah, I mean, the geometry part that we have, right? If you have gone through those videos, you would know that solving such questions is no deal at all. You can simply substitute the values in the options and verify. What does he say? Find the equation of the straight line passing through the point 2 comma 2. So that means that line should satisfy the point 2 comma 2. It should pass through the point 2 comma 2. So x, x, uh, I mean the x coordinate is 2, y coordinate is also 2. So substitute 2 and 2 in the options. Whichever option satisfies, that's the answer. Right? So substitute what happens here? 4 into 2 minus 5 into 2 plus 5. Is it equal to 0? 4 into 2, 8. 8 plus 5, 13. 13 minus 10 is equal to 3, which is not 0. So first option is wrong. Substituting the second option, 2 by 5 plus 2 by 6 is equal to 2. Can 2 by 5 and 2 by 6 add up to 2? No. 2 by 5 is 0 0.4. 2 by 6 is 0 0.33. This will not be 2. Hence, option B is wrong. Substituting the third option, 2 by 2 
plus 2 by 5 equals to 1. No, 2 by 2 itself is 1. So this is 1.4 actually. So option C is also wrong. Option D should be the answer. When A, B, C are wrong, option D has to be correct. But I feel even option D will not satisfy because if it's it, if it passes through 2, 2, then 2 by 5 plus 2 by 7 should be equal to 1 according to this. I don't think 2 by 5 and 2 by 7 will add up to 1. Right? 2 by 5 is 40 percentage. 2 by 7 is approximately 28 percentage. So that will be upon approximately 0 0.68. It is not 1. So D also is wrong. So I think Pinky, all the options are wrong here. None of the option is correct. Right? You just verify. The line has to pass through 2, 2. No, none options, none, none of the options satisfy.